Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is the quickest, easiest, most flexible, most robust, non-destructive way of doing a vignette that I know. So here it is. First thing, we want a layer to give us the dark bit around the edge, or light if you want, but any colour you want. So I go down to a new fill layer. Now I set the background colour. We could set that to black like that, or maybe I'll make it just a, add it to a little bit of dark blue just for fun. Now I'm going to cover the area of the vignette, which I can change. So I just go to the shapes here, go to traditionally it's sort of ellipse, but let's have a rounded rectangle. So I'll just draw that like that. And we can come back and change this later if we want. Give that a colour. Um, you can be white if you like, but just any colour. Um, as long as it stands out, you can see where it is for the moment, but we're going to make that disappear in a minute. So then I'm going to go down to the FX here, click on the layer FX, go to Gaussian Burr, turn that on. And you could turn this up, but it only goes so far. So you really want to type in here, give it something like 400. Depends on the, the resolution of your picture. Then uh, you can move this about, get it in the right position. And then the trick now is I go from here to change the blend mode of this from normal all the way to the bottom to a raise. And a raise is going to poke a hole all the way through to the bottom. So it even goes through the picture underneath. But I want to bring that back. So I just going to shift click to select both of these and then control G to make it a group. Now the fill layer and the, the punch through top layer uh, only goes so far, so that erase blend is stops at the end of the group. And here we have our vignette. And you can leave it like that if you want, or you can start doing things with it because it's completely flexible and non-destructive. So if I select that there, select the move tool, I can move it around the place and reposition it. If I go to the rounded rectangle here and click on convert to curves, Nothing seems to happen, but now if I go to the node tool here, which is underneath the pen tool, I can then go and move these nodes about and change it and put in new nodes and so on. So there you go. That's it. That is as simple and as flexible as it is. If you want to as well, you can play with the blend mode of the whole group. Um, you can go down, you can multiply it. Um, you can go to overlay, which darkens the edge, but not where the light area is in. Um, divide will give you something interesting. And so on down into these here. Average will give you sort of a weaker version. It's a quick way to get just a light blur. Just do an average, uh, which will give you something like that. So there you go. That's it. Really quick, really easy, really effective, really flexible. Thank you very much for watching.